lecture i am going to discuss what how to install sql server management studio and ssms on windows 11 operating system so first here i am going to show you the download steps so in google chrome there you should write here sql server so after that you can get here microsoft.com site so you need to click this link so click this site then after here you can uh, see try sql server and this cloud as your now here you can get to here this is sql server so developer and express so sql server 2019 developer full features so this here you get full features and here this is the limited features so a small server application this is so uh, compared than this one that uh, bigger so let's click on this download and after that here you can see this is the exe file that automatically come there so automatically uh, come there then or uh, the size is 5.670 mb so it's uh, completing now so after that you need to click this uh, on open and the next uh, step is it's opening right now so here you can see sql server 2019 developer edition so there i'm using windows 11 operating systems so this is the basic installation and here customs and develop download video so you should try these tools but i highly recommend you you should use here download media so when you click here download media then you can get to two types of uh, uh, files are there first is cap and here iso files and here you can select your favorite language and this is now files and this is the download download directory so download the file then you can do the installation so here i highly recommend you you should use this media then iso that's fine Let, after that you need to click this download and after all downloading the file that uh, comes so here this is on the download so this file you can get here sql server 2019 and or oh, this is 1.33 gb so now i'm going to show you the installation steps so double click on this file then here you can get the setups so double click on the setup and after that to uh, here you can see there or uh, you need to go on the installation then after new sql server standalone click there and uh, here this is for developer addition so this uh, is available for three months 180 days okay 180 days this one so i think uh, uh, six months that's the uh, are available on the free so here you can get uh, express evaluation so developer that's fine you need to click on this next and uh, net should be connected after that i accept click on this next and uh, here this is for update so click check that click on next so for this one this is step net must be connected so this is doing some update if that available then that will do the updates so here first is completed and uh, now after completing that steps so please wait while sql server 29 that comes so it all passed there is no any problems after that click on this next and uh, for sql server you need to select here this database engine so this that is required for sql server and uh, here sql server and uh, if you want then you can uh, install others so this is now ssis4 okay and uh, here i'm going to use as uh, selecting this part and here analysis service so only two that i'm selecting so this location where sql server is going to install click on this next and to uh, then after we need to wait for few seconds then default that's fine and then no need to change anything click on next so please wait and after that it's all fine no need to change anything click on next then here windows authentication you don't need to give any 
user uh, you need to password and here mix mode you need to give your SA account system ad administrator so you should uh, give the uh, remembering password and after giving the password you need to click on this add current user so it's added then after here click on this next and add current user then click on next and after that this is all summary you can get here okay this is the summary so after uh, getting this all then you need to click on this install button so here this is uh, now this is the uh, second last steps so here uh, the SQL Server is now installing so it will take only a few minute times to complete the installation so now I'm going to pause the video now you can see database engine and analysis service both are installed successfully then after let's click on this close and after that we need to install SSMS so you can also get from here install SQL Server install SQL Server Management Studio or if you want then you can write here SSMS so this is here Microsoft site and the current version is now 18.111.1 so this is here click on this then automatically the file that comes so I already downloaded it so I'm not going to download once again so here you can see uh, this file that I downloaded here so I'm going to click click this SSMS setup then after here you can get this one so or uh, this is the location where SSMS that going to install so click on this install button simply and it's doing the installation with uh, Microsoft SQL Server and with uh, Azure Data Studio so this is packing and overall progress so it will take only few minute times to complete the installation you can see Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio with Azure setup completed there is no any problem then you need to click on this close after that to here this is the search box and there I'm going to write SSMS so SQL Server Management Studio 18 click there then this is the version and it's opening now and uh, this is the console of this SSMS so first here I'm going to give a uh, server name server type this is database analysis this you can get here so if you know about your system name then you can give and if you don't know then here let's write localhost localhost and I'm going to connect with the windows authentication click on this connect so it's connected there is no any problem so here you can see this system database are available this all our system database then after uh, disconnect connect it again so this time going to use here SQL Server authentication so username get the password and here click on this connect so it's connected if you want then you can create the user defined database so new let's give here the name is Adam so two files that's going to create here Adam and log so click on this ok then you can see there is a database created with the name of Adam so this is the system database and here this is the user created database Adam so this is the way we can install all this tools first is SQL Server then SSMS on the Windows 11 operating system so I hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you